Hey everyone, welcome back to Buick Outdoors. If you're new here, my name is Sheldon Marion, and on this video, I'm going to teach you how to sharpen up your chain on your chainsaw using a still file guide. Now, before we dive into this, I'm just going to run down uh, everything that you need uh, to do this. And the first thing is, you need to know what size of file that you actually need. And to figure that out, on the side of your bar here, there'll be kind of a, a little printout or almost like a little stamp on there. Mine's extremely worn out so it's, it's really hard to see on the camera. So what I did is I just picked up a new chain and on the chain here, you'll see right here, it says .325 and the file guide that I picked up also says .325 and then another way you can tell is on the box of your chain it'll actually tell you what size of file that you need. So here it says 4.8 millimeter or 3 16 and on here it also says 4.8 millimeter. So now that you know that you have the right size uh, file pretty well you just need a little marker sharpie and that's just to mark the first uh, link that you sharpen and then just your regular old uh, chainsaw wrench and then it also makes it a lot easier if you have a uh, little bench vise as well you can do it on your tailgate but it makes it much easier if you have a vise so now to get started here I'm going to be using my vise here on the bench so we'll just take your chainsaw up, put her in there. You want to make sure that your teeth clear the bottom, so give her a test run. Spins no problem. And then, uh, just to show you guys how bad these teeth are on this saw, I'll grab the camera and get right close to it. I don't know what I hit with it, but it it dug in bad. So as you can see here, there's almost no curve left in that blade or in that chain whatsoever. It practically just doesn't cut. So what we'll do now is I'll show you how to do your proper uh, alignment here. Make sure everything's nice and straight, get the proper angles. We'll run that. Uh, file just a few strokes and you'll see just how good this file guide actually works All right, so this one here this is gonna be the first one that we do so We're just gonna take our little marker here, and we're just gonna color on it Then that way when we come back across We know that this is the one that we started on and a lot of times you can tell too especially when the chain is This bad you'll be able to look just right onto the link and see but we'll grab our file guide and it's pretty straightforward there's two files on here, well there's three files but this one it's on the bottom left edge which will go into the groove and you just set her into place and on this file guide you have the arrows pointing which way it needs to go so this is a push not a pull and here you have these two little marks you want to kind of line those up to your bar so right around there is about right and all I'm going to do is I'm going to push let off the pressure pull it back push down with pressure on it and uh, you'll see this thing sharpen it right up so push come back push come back And that is pretty well pretty well done so I'll grab the camera off here so you can see just what we uh, kind of started with and what we ended with here so this is basically what we started with just a hack job of a chain and after just a couple of strokes it's not quite there yet it's gonna take a couple more but you can see the bevel starting to come back in and the top 
has a nice sharp here so I think a couple more strokes and that one will be uh, will be done alright so we're back on to the one that we didn't quite finish up so we'll give her a couple more strokes here There we go. Got that little burr on the top there. Just flake it away with your finger. There's a nice little C shape in there. So all I'll do is I'll release the brake. Move up to this one. And then we'll just keep going until we come back around to this first one that we did. So now we did this one here. You can see that we're back to our little red mark so we know that we can stop and now for this there's an arrow on each side so this one points that way flip it around this one says this way so if you want to start on the other side you can turn it put in there like that and pull it towards you but for me that's just weird and awkward so what I like to do is I like to take the saw pull it out of the vise and I just flip it around and then I just keep using this side where it says push and then you just keep pushing actually it'll be this side because you'll be at a different angle but we'll get this saw flipped around we'll start on the other side all right so now we have our saw flipped around we're just going to do the exact same thing we're going to start with a red marker now let's go right here. Put the brake on. Then we have our arrow here pointing that way. So you know you have to push it. So what we'll do is we'll get this all lined up. Get our correct angle with those lines. Make sure they line up with your with your bar. And it's just the same thing as the other side. Just like that, our first one's done. Now we'll take the brake off, move to the next link, put the brake on and just keep doing that until we come back to our little red mark. Alright, so we just got back to our first little red mark here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pan in and I'll show you the little uh, before and after shot of the chain. So right now what you're seeing is the before. You can see how worn out and rugged and nasty that chain looks. And this here is after so you can see it made just a world of difference so I guess now the only thing left to do is fire it up take her outside find a nice little block of wood and just cut into it you know an inch or two and just uh, see how this thing performs now so what we have here is just kind of a random block of wood. It's been here for a little while, it's frozen into the ground, but you'll be able to get the idea anyways. So let's fire up the saw, we'll cut into it. And before I sharpened this saw up, I couldn't cut anything. I I must have dug it into a gravel pit, to be honest with you. But anyways, I'm gonna fire up the saw. We'll see how well she cuts. Oh, holy cow. So after I sharpened it up there, 
you pretty well have to hold back on the saw now. So once you file the tops off there a little bit too, it just wants to dig down. I'm telling you now, this chain is better than a brand new chain. With that file, it might be kind of half crazy, but I think what I'm going to be doing from now on, every time I get a new chain, I'm going to put it on it, and the first thing I'm going to do is sharpen it with that file. That thing is just phenomenal. <laughs> well, hey guys, I hope you like this video. I hope you uh, hope it uh, taught you something, and you can go out and get one of them still uh, file chains there. Sharpen up your saws and start chewing away at some wood. <laughs> Anyways, hope you like it. Hope you subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you on the next one.